Hi there, thanks for joining me. Today I wanted to do a short tutorial about a piece that I absolutely adore and is getting a lot of attention right now. This piece is called A Million Numbered Streets by Dr. Gary Powell Nash. This piece was written in 2014 for Robert Boddy, who is the second oboist of the New York Philharmonic. Make sure you watch all the way till the end of the video so you can get to hear my performance of this piece. To those who don't know me, hi, my name is Ron, and I post videos here on YouTube every Saturday. Make sure that you subscribe so you don't miss any of my future oboe content, and please hit that thumbs up button. As well, I am on Instagram, and you can follow me there, at Oboron. So A Million Numbered Streets is only about 57 seconds long, and it is a miniature. It is inspired by all the songs dedicated to New York City's many numbered streets. Some famous numbered streets that you might recognize, even if you've never been to New York City, are 42nd Street, which is where Times Square is, 34th Street, where a miracle involving Santa happened, and 66th Street, which is where Lincoln Center is. I did live in NYC for two years during my master's degree, and I love New York City. There is an undeniable effervescent energy about the place, and it is your job to bring that out in the piece even if you have never been there. If you haven't been, you can also try watching some New York City-based movies and TV shows. For movies, I would recommend Paris is Burning, Black Swan, The Devil Wears Prada, Groundbreaking, A Side Story, Do the Right Thing, and Taxi Driver. For TV shows, just watch Gossip Girl and forget the rest. XOXO. Dr. Nash is not a New York City-based composer. He's originally from Flint, Michigan, but now lives in Nashville, Tennessee, where he is an instructor at Fisk University. He teaches music composition, theory, and music technology. He also conducts the jazz ensemble there, and it is clear that there's lots of jazz influences in this piece. As well, he's a clarinetist, and you can tell that there's lots of idiomatic wind writing in his music. I wanted to read you a short excerpt from his bio, which I think says a lot about his compositional style. Gary Powell Nash's music is bright, strongly rhythmic, and shaped by his musical roots and traditions in the African American community. He is able to abstract blues, gospel, and jazz elements and infuse these into a solid, crafted style based on Western classical disciplines with a keen understanding of instrumentation and a particularly wonderful sensitivity to all types of instruments. Dr. Nash has composed an entire set of eight other New York City inspired miniatures around a million numbered streets, which is now available on his Musica Neo page, which I will link below. I was thrilled to be able to preview and proofread the entire set earlier last month, and I can personally attest to how fun and exciting these pieces are. All nine miniatures are selling together as a set for only $12, which is quite a bargain, and additionally, Dr. Nash has a plethora of other oboe work available for sale on his Musica Neo website. A bit on the notation, since some of my viewers might not be as familiar and comfortable with learning and performing contemporary classical music. Do not be afraid, there is so much beautiful music written after Mahler, Strauss, and Stravinsky, and contemporary classical music is so exciting and diverse and interesting and such a beautiful part of our industry. There are a few differences which you may not be used to, and that's okay. For example, in this piece, all the accidentals only apply to the note that they're on. So that means if you have an A flat earlier in the bar and you have another A, that means that the accidental does not carry through the bar like you may have been taught since you started playing your instrument. It might take a bit of time to analyze and figure out which accidental belongs to what note. After that, you're gonna be all set. Just forget everything you've learned and just treat each accidental as an ephemeral little thing that just disappears right away. There are a lot of syncopated and jazzy rhythms in this piece. To really sell these, I think you have to like go and immerse yourself a little bit in the world of old school jazz. I recommend listening to some recordings of Miles Davis, John Coltrane, Sonny Rollins, and Benny Goodman. These jazz legends played with a lot of verve, excitement, and attitude. And we have to convey that in this piece. In terms of tonality, this piece is strictly in C major. Not all contemporary music is atonal. Surprise, surprise. In the middle of the miniature, he does depart tonally from C major for a short while in sort of a heightened drama situation, but we can use that in our storytelling. And no matter what, 
there's always a sense of groundedness in these jazzy and snappy rhythms. Okay, I hope all that information was really helpful to you as you prepare this piece. Just a reminder, it is available for sale for only $3 on its Music and Neo webpage, and you can get the whole set of nine miniatures for only $12. Link is below. Here's my performance of A Million Numbered Streets. Enjoy. Thank you for joining me and I hope this was really helpful for you. Good luck on your oboe journey. Please let me know in the comments if there's anything that you would like me to cover in a future video. Again, please subscribe and hit that thumbs up button below, it really means a lot. As well, you can find me on Instagram at oboron where I post daily tips, tricks, and practice videos. Thank you so much for joining me and have a great day.